Today we're trading in our buckets for this compost carrier and let me tell you we're excited. Hi, I'm Dr. Arland Hill and welcome back to Harvest Hills Ranch. And like I said, we're getting rid of these buckets. Yeah, they're, they're, they're out of here and we're trading them in for our compost carrier. You can see, yeah, upgrade big time. You can see in the garden behind us here on my left side, we've got rows of compost down and on the right side, we've got some areas that we had our tarp over that we're getting ready to put compost on. And let me tell you guys, Lee and I tried to do this with buckets last year and we realized real quickly, yeah, big thumbs down. Epic fail. Epic fail, huge epic fail. We realized real quickly that we were not gonna be able to do this. It was not gonna be a sustainable option. We did do it for those 12 rows. We finally got it done. A lot of sweat and, and I'm sure probably some tears in there somewhere. But nonetheless- I Had great muscles. You did have good it. muscle development after that. But nonetheless, Ranch lady extraordinaire here said, look, you gotta come up with an option for us on this. You gotta come up with some type of solution to make this sustainable for us. And we all know that if you can't sustain what you're trying to do, it's never gonna work long-term. So I put my thinking hat on and I contacted my dad. And I said, dad, I need you to adapt me a carry-all, basically just a metal frame to our garden tractor, which has a one point or a fast hitch. So it was just, a, it, he just needed to do some welding. So Thanks, Dad. Completely appreciate that. This would not be possible without your welding expertise there. From then, I went to doing a little bit of woodwork and trigonometry to try to get some angles right. I took a lot of heat for doing some trigonometry from this young lady. But nonetheless, what we developed was our compost care, and today we're gonna show you how we use this and why this has been such a work saver for us. Um, so let me show you what we built first of all. You can see that uh, just looking at this, there's a platform here again. I'll show you the metal frame under here that's holding this thing up. But we've got a platform here and I just built an angled box. And the idea was when we take the loader and we're loading up the box with the front end loader that as this compost is coming or being dumped in, it's all funneling down to the middle and then as we're pulling it out, it makes it a lot easier for us to keep it over the row. You can see our opening here is about the width of the row. And I'll show you what else we had to do, just a couple of other little things back here that we needed to do with this. So in looking at the carrier back here, we had to make a few modifications. When we realized when we started to put this thing into operation, we realized real quick that we were gonna have some limitations in getting this thing to stay functional because we were adding too much weight to it. Uh, it was actually, the frame was starting to, the wood was starting to pull away from the metal frame, so we had to shear that up and reinforce it. But basically what, what we did is we, my dad welded in a one piece hitch back here. And then from there, we built the wood frame on that and everything's bolted in on the back and on the bottom. And now we've got a compost carrier here that allows us to do, these are our 100 foot rows that you're looking at here. And it allows us to do a just probably just a sh little bit short of a half of each one of these rows at a time. So a couple of trips, but let me tell you guys, hands down better than toting buckets nonstop. And we're able with this to lay down a lot more compost at a time and start to build up some organic matter in our soil. And you can see from what we've got here, what we started with, we took the tarp and we let this tarp sit for only about, or I shouldn't say only about, for about four to five months. It actually sat pretty much the whole winter. But what it did is in the sand here, there's some organic matter that has been broken down, but we were able to kill off all those weeds. And now when we come and put this compost in, we've got this nice organic matter here, good carbon, good nitrogen that we're gonna plant into, and we should have some lush garden here pretty soon. So with that being said, I've talked enough about what we, uh, how this thing came into existence. Let us show you how we actually use this and put it to work here. All right, guys, here we go.
So there it is guys, a homemade compost carrier in action. And we're really looking forward to what this is gonna help us be able to do out here at the farm it, as far as getting our, our market garden up and in production and staying consistent with it. And most importantly, not having to worry about putting synthetic chemicals, you know, we're all about staying chemical free, doing everything with clean organic principles. This is gonna help us be able to do that. So we're gonna get a lot of production, a lot of nutrient richness in these foods that we're growing out here. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching this today and sharing in what we were able to accomplish out here. Um, make sure that you uh, come back for more videos. We're gonna continue or we're gonna continue to share with you how we do this. And hey, if you like the information that we're sharing with you, hit it with a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on and, and sharing our mission with us. So thanks for joining us guys. Dr. Arlen Hill with Leah Hill from Harvest Hills Ranch. Talk to you soon.